Imagine if your team could handle stress like a pro, communicate clearly, even in tough moments, and build rock-solid relationships. Sounds amazing, right? What if I told you there are simple habits that they can start today to make this a reality? Stick around because in the next few minutes, I'll share the top five habits that can boost your team's emotional intelligence and set them up for a successful, balanced life. Hey guys, I'm Keisha and welcome to our channel where we focus on raising emotionally intelligent teams. In today's video, top five emotional intelligence habits for teens, a busy mom's God, we're diving into emotional intelligence or EI and why it's a game changer for our team. Let's jump right on in. So exactly what is emotional intelligence? It's all about understanding and managing our own emotions as well as recognizing and influencing the emotions of others. For our team, the skill is crucial. It helps them navigate social situations, manage stress, and build strong, positive relationships. Imagine your team being able to handle any emotional curveball life throws at them. That's the power of EI. And as moms, we can play a big role in helping them develop these skills. First on our list is active listening. We all know the frustration of trying to talk to a teen who's more focused on their phone than the conversation. Teaching them to truly listen, giving their full attention, showing empathy, and responding thoughtfully can transform their interaction. Encourage your teen to put away their gadgets, and make eye contact when someone's talking. You can start by modeling this at home during family check-ins where everyone gets a chance to speak and everyone listens. This habit not only enhances their EI, but also strengthens your family connection. Next, let's talk about emotional regulation. Tape can be a roller coaster of emotion, but there are effective ways they can manage feelings. Techniques like deep breathing, journaling, or simply taking a moment to pause before reacting can help them stay in control. For instance, if your teen is anxious about an upcoming exam, guide them through a few deep breaths and suggest they jot down their worry. These small practices can significantly improve how they cope with stress and anxiety. Building positive relationships is another key to boosting emotional intelligence. Healthy, supportive relationships teach teens empathy, cooperation, and how to handle conflicts constructively. Encourage your teen to join group activities, whether it's a sports team, a club, or volunteering. These experiences teach them to work well with others and appreciate diverse perspectives. And as a mom, you can model positive interactions in your daily life, showing them how to be kind and empathetic. Setting boundaries is crucial for maintaining emotional well-being. Teens need to know it's okay to say no and to protect their personal space and time. Discuss with your team why discuss with your teen why boundaries matter and help them practice setting and respecting them. For example, if they're feeling overloaded with commitments, prioritize and say no to additional pressure. Boundaries are about keeping emotional balance, not just shedding others. Lastly, but definitely not least, it's positive reinforcement. When your teen shows good emotional intelligence, acknowledge it. Praise and encouragement can solidify these behaviors, whether it's appreciating their efforts to listen actively or celebrating their ability to manage their emotions. Positive reinforcement can be incredibly motivating. Even small gestures like a high five or a sincere compliment can build their confidence and reinforce these important habits. And there you have five essential habits to help your team to help boost your team's emotional intelligence. By focusing on these areas, you're not just helping them today but setting them up for a lifetime of success and emotional balance. If you found these tips helpful, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more parenting insights, 
for more parenting insight. And share your thoughts and questions in the comments. I'd love to hear how you're supporting your team's emotional growth. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.